Hey everyone, this is Nate from NateScreenPrints.com and today I'm going to be talking about why screen printing works. I've had several questions in the comment section of the videos asking exactly why this is working, how the ink is getting through the sheet onto a shirt, it's not making any sense. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and you know reveal the mystery of how all this is working. To be honest, when I first started, before I got my kit, I wasn't too sure how it all worked and what it was going to be capable of. So I'm going to go ahead and try to fill you completely on how everything works. And I'm going to be showing you with the Speedball kit here, and I'm going to move on and show you the easy screen print sheets. But uh, screen printing, the principles are the same everywhere. With these hobby kits, the professional screen printing companies, they all it all works the same way. And it all has to do, you need, you need two things. You need a mesh screen attached to, the, like you can see there with attached to the wooden frame, you have a mesh screen. It's like a, uh, a strainer. It's just like a piece of nylon uh, mesh, and you need photo emulsion. So now I'm switching over from showing you putting the photo emulsion onto that screen, and here's your alternative. You can use an easy screen printing sheet. This is a mesh screen that already has the emulsion coated on to the sheet already. You can see, I don't know if you can see very well, but it's mesh on one side and it's smooth on the other. It's got the emulsion on it. And you notice I called it photo emulsion. That's because this green liquid, the screen substance, is sensitive to light. In fact, something very cool happens when it comes in contact with light. If I were to stick this sheet, as it is right now, into water, it would completely dissolve in water. Photo emulsion, to begin with, is water soluble. So if I put that in water, it's just going to all dissolve and you'd be left with nothing but green liquid. Alright, but once you expose photo emulsion to light, it becomes water insoluble which means once it comes in contact with water, it's going to stay a sheet of paper. It's going to stay rigid, solid, it's going to stay stuck there. So the idea behind screen printing is to print out your image onto a transparency, uh, dark black, make sure it's completely black, and that way it's going to block out light. And you want to expose your emulsion to light. That way everything that the emulsion comes, like all the areas that the emulsion comes in contact with light is going to become insoluble in water. It's going to stay put. It's going to become a rigid stencil for you. And all those places behind the black image, all that is going to dissolve away. Water is just going to completely remove all of that from the screen and you'll just be left with that mesh and that is what you cover the ink. When it runs over your screen, it's going to run through that mesh onto your t-shirt. So to, when you expose these to light, you can use regular sunlight. You just go outside, it takes about a minute. I use this exposure light in my apartment it takes about 10 minutes using this. And then you can see once I remove the screen from this exposure board, and I'm going to turn on the light here so you can actually see what I'm doing here. Usually you will want to work kind of in the dark, you don't want to keep exposing it to light, but I'm turning on the light so you can actually see what's going on here. Uh, that light green that you see, that's what color the emulsion used the emulsion sheet used to be. It's actually gotten darker in all the areas that light came in contact with the sheet. You can see the image has been burned into our screen. So now you need to soak it in water. Uh, professional uh, screen printing companies, they have a big sink and they'll just spray it down with a hose and the water will dissolve out all that emulsion. With these easy screen print sheets, it's easier and actually you're supposed to just stick them in water and let them sit for half an hour and it's going to dissolve that emulsion for you. So I'm going to leave it there for half an hour and make sure you turn off the light because you don't want to keep exposing it. So turn off the light. So in the dark for about 30 minutes. Now we're back. It's been 30 minutes and you can see it's a lot of it has already started to dissolve. So all I have to do is shake it a little bit in this water and all those areas where the light didn't come in contact with the emulsion sheet, all of it is just running out. Oh, there's no more emulsion left in those areas. The only thing left there is that mesh screen. So now once you give it enough time to dry, now it's ready to go to screen print your t-shirt. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put this on my t-shirt and it's ready to screen print. So just like I always do, I'm going to put down some blue painter's tape. So hold it in place. And then I'm going to be using Speedball Fabric Black Ink. Put that over top 
the top of my, my screen here. And then I run the squeegee over the ink, completely covering my image. So now you can see in those areas where there was nothing but mesh left, all the emulsion had been washed out, there was nothing but mesh, I ran the ink over top of it and it runs through the mesh, it bleeds through, it's like a strainer, it bleeds through the mesh and then onto the t-shirt. So once I've uh, removed all the blue painter's tape and then I lift off my stencil, you'll be able to see what's left on the shirt is just the image. And that is a screen printed image, the same that you can buy in any uh, store, it's a real image, screen printed just like any other t-shirt. If you found this helpful, uh, please let me know and uh, subscribe.